What's going on, Toxic Gamers? Just the other day, we had good news for Call of Duty, and we covered that, but we got some bad news today, fellas. I think that the retardation that you're gonna see in this video is gonna be off the charts. Like the video if you love your mama. Like the video if you love God. Let's go for four likes on the video. Please do not like the video if you love somebody else's mama, though. Okay, come on, guys. Like, uh, shout out to the homie Nero Shenma. Roll it. Back to the channel, and welcome back to the Black Ops 6 beta. You know what's annoying about the Black Ops 6 beta? It's my own fault. The last two days of what? the beta, I messed up my recording software, and as oh, such, okay. the video quality is so horrendous. I don't even really I, I thought he was gonna admit that it's my fault. I'm a toxic gamer. Okay, he did not say that Okay, my bad, my bad. I wanna Let's post see. it therefore I'm very limited and I'm scraping the bottom of the barrel as to what footage I can really use for these videos as we wait for the full launch of black ops 6 Bro, it's like the same maps that we had in the beta. It, it ain't gonna feel new So don't worry about Which it at the time this video being recorded is exactly two weeks away So I think yeah. we'll make it the show must go on and today We're going to be discussing something that I've been seeing a number of people talking about because Activision is still so hellbent on protecting little Timmy here in the Call yeah. of Duty franchise, Whoa. even to the detriment of Whoa. the franchise itself. So here what we happened? see a tweet from Mr. What Charles happened? Intel. What, what happened? Que pasa? Que pasa? Que pasa? Saying that Black Ops 6 will have voice chat moderation and in-game text chat moderation at launch. There's been a 67% reduction in toxic voice chat with the new detection what? tools across Call of Duty. It will expand it will expand. No, not the français, bro. Not the français. Ah ouais, esti. Ah ouais, calis. J'ai pété dans la. Ah ouais, ma balle est couille. Yo, j'ai pété tes dans la. Ah ouais, calis, tabarnak. Man, I do speak French, by the way. I'm in Montreal, Montreal. Ah ouais, cinq enquêtes, man. Oh man, the putain là. Damn, man, this like is crazy. So you're telling me that little Timmy can not have toxic voice chat? They cannot listen to toxic voice chat, but they can see friendly BBC, friendly BBC online. Make that make sense, bro. Make that make sense, man. And where where the hell is uh, Blame Truth at, bro? Where where he's at? Like I'm not even, bro. He he seems like that he used the helmet so much that he got dementia and peace out. I don't know where he's at. Where you at, Blame Truth? We miss you, homie. We miss you, man. Band to cover French and German alongside English fans. I miss those, uh, you know, uh, toxic gamer videos, man. Spanish and Portuguese. So this was to be expected, right? Black Ops 6, of course, was going to have the same voice chat moderation yeah. that we had here in Modern Warfare 3, despite the fact that the system itself is flawed in a lot of ways. There's so many people out there getting comm bans for really forgivable stuff. Like, for example, if you're swearing a bit too much in comm... Banned for forgivable stuff. <laughs> Okay. Okay. And in voice chat while playing Search and Destroy, well then they're probably gonna give you a comms ban. Other people, however, don't even have their mics plugged in, and they also got comms banned. I've seen yeah. a number of people tweeting at me. Let me and other people getting caught cheating and they get banned too. Uh, but, but but that's like honestly like yeah that's understandable right? Like bans are everywhere though. Bans happening everywhere. Imagine like you getting comms banned. But I never got comm banned right? Does that, uh, uh, and this might be like a silly thing here, silly question here, if any of you like, go like this, right? Like you go toxic mode, right? Like this guy, or like this guy, <laughs> like this guy, and you got comm banned over and over, can you actually get your account banned? I think comm ban and banned for cheating is of course not the same thing, but what I mean is that like, if you are so toxic to the point where you got banned multiple times, and then it's like they ban you completely. Like, does that ever happen or not? Let me know about that in the past and just it seems like it's such a flawed system it? like if you drop one too many f-bombs or if you say somebody is ass you're probably gonna get banned hell i wouldn't be surprised if suddenly you're labeled as an ableist if you tell somebody they're blind for not seeing somebody in search and destroy it's gotten to the point where nobody ever wants to talk in cod anymore this along with the disbanding lobbies i feel like has made cod feel so much different than how it used to be and yeah, i'm not bro. even talking about the crazy stuff that was going on back in the og modern Man. warfare 2 we've all seen those videos like cod voice chat back in the day was something else but i'm not even talking about that necessarily i'm talking about just old school cod in general you would get into a match based on your connection therefore most of the people you were playing against were relatively local to you it was very common back then for people to recognize area codes and people's yeah. clan tags like you were yeah right like Montre i'm in montreal canada so 514 that's like the 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 city code so suckers would be like sign conquet sign conquet sign conquet uh yeah gang gang like you know what i'm saying like yeah bro like calis tabernak putain the so these are like the common Common, like words uh, that people use uh, in French here right and this one is now gonna be expanding expanding it, they are gonna be expanding it to German uh, Shiza I guess so yeah damn man we were not even gonna be able to say Shiza no more Shiza no more 
Uh, and it's expanding to French as well. Of course, I, I feel like that. Okay, so far they're not expanding to Urdu or Hindi. I do speak Urdu. Like, are kutte deo bacho ta nu sharam ni aandi ta ne gaane phade pehen cho ta nu main PT master laga la yaar kutte deo bacho ta nu. Yeah, so I feel like that eventually they're gonna get down to like Urdu as well, bro. We're always Sadly. playing with people that were relatively local to you. You got into that lobby based on your connection, and most people had mics, and they would either talk shit or they would just chat with one another, and then the lobbies would not disband, so you developed friendships and rivalries with the other people yeah. in your matches. Nowadays, yeah. you're thrown into an optimized lobby based on your skill, and therefore you're matched with people from all around the country or even all around the world. People are just trash talking. For example, like a guy would have 13 kills and 11 deaths. He would be getting mad at another guy that had like 15 kills and 12 deaths for no reason for no reason and, and guess what like he's getting it off his chest so he must have had a long day so he's getting it off his chest and you know after the fact everybody's happy everybody's relaxed right like let a brother get some therapy though it's like therapeutic though and sometimes it, it creates rivalries online in in games and you know uh, people are competing and people enjoy that a lot more right if you don't like that you can always like have voice uh, chat disable i always have disable uh, i just play the game without sound to begin with right yeah and i listen to youtube videos and podcasts that's my way of enjoying call of duty nowadays and that's how i uh, i play games nowadays especially the fps games i recently downloaded you know the craziest thing is that i recently downloaded battlefield 2042 uh, of course uh, it's not the best battlefield game out there but you know playing after a long time without any expectations i have actually i have been actually kind of enjoying the game <laughs> Yeah, they have made some improvements, uh, and yeah, the next Battlefield game is confirmed as well. Hopefully, that's gonna be good. Been playing like Black Ops Cold War as well, and uh, yeah, kind of enjoyed it. I, and I enjoyed the the Black Ops Six multiplayer beta too. I thought it was better than Concord. I thought it was better than Dustborn, guys. Like, yeah, right. But I hope Zombies is good though. I hope Zombies. That was the last video. That's what the last video was about. I uh, I hope Zombies is good, man. I, that's uh, that's the only uh, thing I wanted to be good, and then I'll make a purchase. So far, I have not pre-ordered. Let me know where you guys at. Day one, when it comes out, I'll watch the game plan. If zombies is good, then I I might get it. If it's not good, then uh, hey, uh, no biggie, no biggie. Talks? Nobody talks in those lobbies, whether it's because they're comms banned, whether they're afraid of being comms banned, or maybe they're just sitting in Discord, and then the lobby disbands at the end of the match, and you're likely never going to see any yeah. of those people ever again. You guys have heard- But, but, they, but they talked about like uh, bringing back map voting, right? I believe I saw the map voting. Could be wrong, though. Maybe I'm like, uh, uh, maybe I have dementia. Maybe maybe it's because like this image, oh, that's friendly BBC. Uh, not talking about BBC online, but uh, maybe, maybe yeah, maybe seeing this picture Bruh. also gave me dementia like i thought there was map voting in black ops 6 correct me if i'm wrong and they have been talking about it. they're gonna bring the non-disbanding lobbies basically the way call of duty used to be back in the days and yeah bro like sometimes you want to play with the same team especially search and destroy you know like whenever nuketown would show up you would vote for nuketown search and destroy and you know maybe the first map you lost so bad or you won and you're like let's go again with the same team so you create like rivalries like that and it's uh, it's fun like that right like playing against the same people over and over for a little bit like for two lobbies three lobbies for four games five matches right like it's fun at times i remember i miss those days maybe uh, some of you guys are new to call of duty and you never experienced that i mean it's silly it's silly that's why i said that the retardation is going to be off the charts in this video but it's like little things that makes the game a lot more enjoyable and uh, of course like now they are chat moderating yeah on paper might not sound like a big deal but like damn they're listening to you suckers out here bro they're listening to you suckers and it's like a social credit system of course i'm exaggerating a little bit but but like when you think about it it's like that right like hey you said a no no thing therefore we're gonna ban you right think about it that for a second right like they they're controlling people right now they're trying to actively control and then uh, this thing happens in more games more games and more games it's like god forbids you don't god forbids you say a no no word but it's like hey you can see friendly bbc online in the game friendly i, I feel like that it's a mature rated game so if they're gonna have a bbc online skin that's fine but also like damn homie like don't do that crap too bro yeah friendly bbc online yeah let, bring him back bring him back 
heard me talk about this in the past, but a lot of the time, Call of Duty Now sort of feels like a single player game. And I can't be the only person that feels that way because with how tight skill based matchmaking is, Facts. every lobby feels about the same. There's very Facts. little variety in terms of how the other team plays and what goes on in most of my matches. Nope. Yeah, uh, dog, like I haven't played Call of Duty with my with my friends in a long ass time though. Like uh, I remember Black Ops 6 beta was playing solo though. I don't, you, you know, you know, you feel what I'm saying? Like back in the days, uh, we would run like four players lobby, five players, six player lobby whenever we had uh, ground war. Remember nine player lobby as well, man. You, you feel what I'm saying? But nine player lobby that that has been it has been a minute. It has been a minute, right? Like that was like high school days. Yeah, man, crazy times, man, crazy times. Nobody talks, you never see those people again once the game is over, it's a lot like you're playing a single player game with the difficulty turned up once you get into those higher skill based matchmaking brackets. Like the only <laughs> thing that really changes are the names of the people in the lobby, but they don't yeah, even yeah. really seem like people because they just play like everybody else, nobody talks, there's not really any personality or anything happening there, it just it kind of feels like you're playing a single player game. I can't be the only person that feels that way. And that's a real shame because Call of Duty matches used to feel so organic and varied. I know I've Facts. pretty much reached Facts. grandpa stage status Facts. here on YouTube because I've been doing Call of Duty videos for over 13 years now, but I'm sure many of you guys had Damn. the same things happen to you back in the day. Your Yo, 13 years on the internet, that's like 13, uh, 13 decades in real life, bro. Yeah, I feel like a grandpa too, bro. I'm 28. I, I'm probably the oldest guy. Let me know how old are you guys. Of course, I'm not the oldest guy, but, but yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, damn, man, I'm pushing 30 hardcore right now, bro friends list was made up of people you met playing Call of Duty. You would Facts. talk to these people, you knew Facts. these people, you'd be playing Search and Destroy, you'll be Facts. talking trash back and forth or whatever, and then every now and then, somebody would back out and then they would invite you in. Now you're playing with these Facts. guys and you might add Facts. a few of them. Then the very next night, you see that one or two of them are on. You send them a message or they send you a party invite. You start playing with these people and suddenly you're friends and you're gonna end up being friends for a very long time. Hell, there's people Facts. I met back in like 2008 playing Search and Destroy and World at War that I still talk to today. Nick, who was on a lot of my Let's Play videos on my second channel, Nick from Texas, if you guys know him. I was literally playing World of Warcraft with him the other day. I met him in 2008 playing Search and Destroy on Airfield Damn. in Call of Duty World at War, and 16 years later, I still talk to the guy. Like I, I, For me, like I remember there was a guy from Brazil. Uh, his name was Lucas. Of course, not going to give the full name, but Lucas, right? And I met him on the PlayStation Home. You remember the PlayStation Home? Like, yeah, that's like dinosaur era, though. PlayStation Home on the PlayStation 3. So, yeah, the reason we kind of connected and the reason we still uh, have... It's been a minute since I spoke with him, for sure. But the reason we kind of became online friends was because of trash talking during the PlayStation 3 days on the PlayStation Home, man. Good, good times, man. Good times, good times. That's how things were back then. That's how I met pretty much all of my online friends before I became a YouTuber. After that, things changed up a little bit once you're a YouTuber. Now I mostly meet people through open lobbies that I hold. That's how I met people like Nate or James, Sean, Wildcat, all those people. I met them through open lobbies. But before that, I met people playing the game and chatting with them. And I really don't think that happens anymore. I'm curious if you guys have any stories to write down there in the comments. Like, when was the last time you guys met somebody playing Call of Duty and now you're friends and you guys play together and whatever? Like, does that even happen? happen anymore because I really don't feel like it happens nearly to the extent yeah, it doesn't, it doesn't. that it used to back in the day. It and a lot not. of that comes down to the fact that people are just afraid to talk in COD. Recently, guys, uh, this dude was caught cheating and uh, we got an insane clip though. Check out this video on the screen. On the left though, we got some good news about zombies for Call of Duty. Check that out and I'll see you right there.